Before we can consider building a model of the hub, we need to understand what it is. What does it do and how does it interact with other components? The hub is made of a high-grade steel and carries the wheel which is clamped on with a large single nut. At the other end is a pair of wheel bearings. These connect and locate the hub into the upright assembly. The loads come from the road surface and follow a path through the tyre and wheel, into the hub and out through the wheel bearings, and into the rest of the suspension and the car. Let's hear what Red Bull's senior structures analyst, Lewis Butler, has to say about it. Okay, here we have a partially disassembled car that effectively has all of the structural components only within it, so ordinarily there'd be a lot more paraphernalia around the car in terms of bodywork for the aerodynamics. So uh, the loads obviously come in through the wheel, which we have here. So to show you a bit more detail, So having removed the wheel, we can now see some of the componentry that's associated with the load path that carries the load into the chassis. So here we have the hub, which is the component we're concerned with a bit later on, and that carries the load into a component which we call the upright, which carries the brake caliper, and uh, beyond that is the component that holds the brake disc, which isn't actually here at the moment, it would actually sit around the outside of here. Um, and then this goes inboard, which carries loads via bearings which are on the hub again into the upright, which carries the brake caliper and also all the suspension components, which here you can see carry all the forces into the chassis. And the hub itself is effectively a turned piece of steel with some extra machining detail on it. And here we have the component in question, the front hub. You can see clearly here the thread, which the nut mounts on. The wheel goes into this space here. The flange is here, now this reacts the thrust load from the, from the wheel and also from the bearings, which are preloaded and the two bearings sit on this two faces here, here and here, and they react both radial and axial loads. So now we know quite a bit about the hub. We know it's made from a high grade steel, and we've seen how it fits into the car upright assembly and transmits or carries the loads. The wheel and disc bell are clamped hard against this face by the wheel nut on the end. And there are two wheel bearings, one here, one here, which are clamped together or pre-loaded with another large nut on the other end.